Hello, citizens of the planet, and welcome back to Monday Musings with Larry Lelly. And wow, do I have a story for you this week. Another first for Larry, the little drummer boy on Broadway. This was not fun at the time. It, I find it very amusing right now. And now that it's over and everything ended well. But, um, so I'm playing a Broadway show the other day. And I, before the show, I decided to go have dinner somewhere. I went to somewhere new that I'd never been before, uh, which I probably don't do too often before I play a show because I kind of like to trust the place where I'm getting the food from and everything. Anyway, I had a salad at this place. There was clearly something bad on the salad. Something was con contaminated or whatever. Uh, so I got some sort of food poisoning. And I was fine for the first, I'm playing the show, I'm fine for the first act. Started, I felt a little tired, maybe a little hot, a little sweaty at <laughs> the intermission, you know. Had some water, I was like, okay, I'll be, I'll be all right, I can, I can get through it. In this se second act of the show, there is um, a huge production number. A big, giant, long singing and dancing song. It's maybe eight eight or ten minutes long, perhaps. It's a long, it's a very long song. We're getting, the song is coming up. I'm starting to feel a little, like, dizzy, a little lightheaded. I'm getting, I'm starting really sweaty. I'm just, I'm feeling not well everywhere. All over. My intestinal system is not feeling well. Um, I'm having trouble balancing on the drum throne. And I'm and I'm think I'm just, now I start thinking okay something's going wrong, what's what should I do? What do I do? This big production number is coming up. I have to be here for it. I have to play it. If the drummer isn't here, the song there's not going to be anything happening in the song. It's all about singing and dancing, and all the drum hits and all the different drum feels and things like that. What do I do? Do I go run out? Do I run out of the pit, and go to the bathroom now? I knew you know. This is the trick that I do, which all of you who, you know, may be musicians and may want to use this trick in the future. When I'm playing a show more than once and I have the opportunity to um, start to learn the pacing of the show, I will time out approximate times for all of the book scenes or the amount of time between musical numbers so that I always roughly know about how much time there is between the end of one song and the beginning of the next one. Like sometimes there's no time at all and it's like 10 seconds and boom, you're into the next song. And sometimes there's a three minute book scene that's going on on stage before you start the next song. So I always make little notes in the music about there's, you know, maybe about two minutes here, or there's 30 seconds here, or there's four minutes here, whatever. So I'm starting to, I'm not feeling well. This song is coming up. There's, there's like a three minute uh, book scene before the song or something. And I'm, and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not thinking straight. And I'm trying to think, okay, what do I do? I've got three minutes before this song starts. Do I, what do I do? And I'm just like kind of shaking it off and I stand up in the pit and I'm trying to shake it off. I'm like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to be okay. I get some water, put a little water on my face, you know. It wasn't helping. And so I, because I wasn't thinking clearly, I probably should have run out of the pit at that point. I didn't. I was like... I'm a tough guy. I'm going to make it through this. We start playing the big production number. My entire... <laughs> you're getting TMI right now, probably. My entire intestines said, everything that's in here is coming out. Larry, <laughs> we don't like whatever this is. And I'm going totally dizzy now. Everything's spinning. I'm sweating. I'm, I can't balance on the drum throne, so I have to take one leg off the hi-hat. This is while I'm playing the big production number. Big, bap, 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 big, loud, strong drums. I'm standing one foot on the floor of the drum pit and leaning like this, trying not to fall over and trying to keep playing. I don't know how I kept going. I don't know if anybody even noticed. <laughs> I was not, I don't know, I don't know what was happening. All I was trying to do was hold on and not throw up or have diarrhea in the pit while I was playing the song. I'm just like trying to control 
all my bodily, my involuntary bodily functions to get through this song. And of course, it's the longest song ever with the most aggressive drumming that I'm so my every with every hit of a drum or a cymbal, I'm my stomach and my intestines are just like. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm thinking ahead. Every time there's a, like a measure rest, I'm trying to think ahead. What happens after this song? What happens after this song? And I realize I have another mini break after the song. So I just had to get to the end of the song. Just get to the end of the song. I somehow miraculously get to the end of the song without losing it in the pit and throw down the drumsticks, throw the, open the door, and this is not an easy pit to get in and out of. It's very tight and there's barely a walkway. I'm just screaming through the pit as fast as I can to get to the bathroom before <laughs> my body explodes into a million pieces in the, the orchestra pit. I run to the bathroom, everything comes out. <laughs> it was terrible. My body was just like <laughs> I somehow get I get some more water on my face. I try to shake it off again. The show is still going on. Nobody knows what's happening. I didn't have time to tell anybody what was happening. All they saw was Larry run out of the pit. I I get my act back together. I cleaned up. I go running back into the pit. It was like it was timed perfectly, like I do this every single night or something. Run right back into the pit, fly into the drum booth, throw the door shut, and start playing the next song. Like, right there at my entrance. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of unbelievable. It was, it, it was about a two minute, I think it was a two minute break, or maybe a minute and a half, or something. Made it back, N no one was the wiser. <laughs> except for everyone in the orchestra pit, who was like, what's, what happened? What's wrong with you? But musically speaking, the show went on, and I was suddenly much better once I got all that disgustingness out of my body, whatever it was that I had eaten that was so bad. Um, and I made it through the rest of the show, you know, in fairly, fairly in one piece. And the conductor, after, you know, after the song ended and I had gotten back in, he's like, are you okay? Is everything okay? I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be all right. And then I told him later what what happened, you know, but so that was probably one of the most terrifying, the second most terrifying. I've really had a string of inc incidents this year, haven't I? Um, the second most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me was my body was literally going to explode from every orifice <laughs> while I was playing the biggest production number in the show. Can you imagine if that would have happened? Like if I couldn't have held on and just would like I'm in a drum booth I was imagining my you know that I would just like completely combine it felt like my body was gonna explode and like that all that everybody would see outside the drum booth was just like my body blows up and splatters all over this the windows of the drum booth and Larry is gone my mind is crazy anyway that's the story I have to share with you this week thanks for tuning in I will see you next week